Dr. Karima Banamar. Right. Thank you so much for coming to the GOMA uh, Fall Conference 2019. We greatly appreciate it. T tell us a little bit about your practice, if you don't mind. Yeah, so I am a, a neurohospitalist at Emory. Um, I practice at both Emory Midtown and um, Emory University Hospital. Um, and I'm very happy to be here. Thanks so much for inviting me. Super. How long have you been doing that work? Um, I actually trained at Emory, um, and so I've been at Emory for about 10 years, okay. um, practicing at Emory as an assistant professor for about past five years. Well, you, you put up a whole bunch of studies. You obviously you can't reproduce the graphs that you showed us, uh, a lot of interesting data. Give, give me a summary. What, what's the right nutrition to prevent heart attacks and strokes? Um, so historically, we've always been told, you know, eat low fat. Um, and um, what I talked about today is that um, the data actually does not show any evidence that low fat is um, um, there to, there's not much data to support low fat for um, stroke prevention um, or actually cardiovascular prevention for that matter. Um, so what you do need to eat is uh, lots of fruits and vegetables. Um, every 200 grams decreases your risk by 20%. So increase your fruits and vegetables. Um, increase your fish consumption by about two to three times a week is good. Do not eat um, fried fish. Um, so sauteed, baked, broiled, that's good. Um, and don't really worry about you know mercury and all those things. Just try to eat fish. That's good for you. And um, um, don't go for skim milk and all that stuff. If um, things that are actually low in fat will be high in carbs because that's how they make them taste better, and that actually is what increases your risk of stroke and mortality. So whole foods, whole fat, um, dairy is actually okay for you. Um, and avoid, that's just the most important point that I want to drive home, is avoid added sugar, avoid processed carbs. If I want you to remember one thing today is to avoid processed sugar, processed carbs, um, eat whole foods. I think that's probably, I think that's probably it. You hit a lot of other points, so you talked about DASH diet and you talked about other things. Uh, but it's all kind of the same sort of thing, getting back to more natural foods and less of the packaged foods. Less, less processed, carbs. yeah. Protein you mentioned, was there's really not a whole lot of data one way or another on protein. Correct, so not, not enough data to support plant protein being better than animal protein, and not enough data to say red meat is bad for you. Um, there is enough data supporting that processed red meat is not good for you, um, so try to stay with uh, non-processed, uh, but um, there's no data supporting that red meat is better than white meat uh, or worse than white, white meat, for example. So a processed meat would be a salami, but maybe even even the um, if you're getting a turkey that's already at the at the uh, that they're slicing up, it's been processed as opposed to taking your own turkey and slicing it into things. Is that a? I mean. So avoid, for example, for deli meat, avoid deli nitrates, meat, guess, yes. avoid nitrates and nitrites. Right. That's what you want to avoid. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Yeah, mm -hmm. the deli meats, I think there's a lot of confusion about that, that people don't realize it's more than just a chicken, it's more than just a turkey, there's other stuff in Correct. it. Correct, yeah. Well, great. Once again, thank you for sharing your knowledge. We greatly appreciate you coming My out. pleasure.